when I think about what is left of GE, you know, there had been a lot of speculation coming to this day. Perhaps some yep. thought that aviation, given what a jewel it is and how much highly more it might be highly valued outside the company, yeah. might be a part of this. Yeah. Are you done? Is this it? Is this we're, the we're GE finished. that I'm going to, yeah. you and I are going to be sitting here talking about two years yes. from now? Yes, it is. Absolutely. And, you know, I think as we looked at that, again, part of the analysis was inside, outside. And part of it is these businesses have a lot of commonality that the other two businesses Such as? didn't. So heavy sharing of technology. If you look at engine technology, jet engine comes from a gas turbine, you know, ceramics and materials we've used across renewables. And so there's good technology sharing. There's common, very common business model, deep technology, installed base, long-term service annuity, and they're deeply global you know, infrastructure businesses. So I like that combination of businesses, especially with the right capital structure so they continue to invest. So I step back again and say as an investor, you get that business directly, well capitalized. You get these other pieces directly with, I think, great prospects. And uh, I'm excited to get to it. Are we going to see job losses as a result of these announcements? So there's a philosophy change here that I think is important, is reducing the size of our corporate center and really empowering the businesses to be the center of gravity. And that's a major change in the way we've run the company. And I'm a deep believer in the power of unleashing the businesses and raising their accountability. So, so they'll determine the layoffs at particular? Yeah, we, I'd say you know, we are transferring certain things back to the business, eliminating certain things outright. And net net at the end of the day, the center of the company will be a fraction of what it is now. Some of it will be in other pieces, some will be eliminated. Is that part of the five hundred million dollars in additional cost yes, savings? That's, that you that's exactly where that is. And I think, you know, I would expect that number to continue to firm up and go. So you up. don't need all that real estate you bought yeah. in Boston? What what about that? No, we have no changes to our real estate in Boston. That's always been a mixed use facility of, you know, part headquarters people and part of our businesses. So we have no change on the real estate. But I do want to come back. The, the philosophy of decentralizing the company, this is, this is a major uh, thought change. And I'm very bullish on it. It doesn't get so much, you know, airtime, I think, is the portfolio of things. But it's a very central change in the company. And it's really about emancipating faster speed, better capital yeah, allocation, GE, more focus. This is the greatest focus. conglomerate of all time. You're going in completely the different no, I wouldn't world. say I mean, completely. No, I, I would say uh, moderated. Things, you know, I think yeah. companies evolve, markets evolve. And I've seen the company at from so many perspectives. The business development strategy, running businesses, being out in the perimeter. So this is an amalgamation of a lot of experience I've had for 10 years. It's not a reaction to, well, we had some issues in the last 12 months. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.